you, did you ever get hurt badly yes. during these? Like, <laughs> yes. Like, what, what? Yes. Wow. In the new movie Jackass Forever, Knoxville has a brain bleed. From from right when you start watching it, you're gonna see things that you've never seen before. This Justin Jackass Four is now officially known as Jackass Forever, not spelled forever, but just forever. Anyway, when is that supposed to be coming out? October twenty second. Oh. As of right now, still in the press. It's October twenty second. October twenty second. It's it's a great, it's a great wow. thing. And we oh, and we want that in the theaters like yes. we want yeah. everybody to be around the fans and like yeah. woohoo like that's the best thing dude in a recent social media post made public across the new and official jack out instagram and twitter pages the team stated we're back a bit older and a lot grayer but definitely not the wiser catch the jack out forever trailer debut online tuesday the 20th of july and we'll see you all on the 22nd of october the film stars johnny knoxville Steve-O, Chris Pontius, Jason Wee Man, Acuna, Preston Lacey, Aaron McGay, and Dave England. It will be produced by Paramount Players, MTV Films, Dick House Productions, and Gorilla Flicks. Jackass 4. Wink wink. Oh god. I'll tell you what. From from right when you start watching it, the first five minutes are gonna you're gonna see things that you've never seen before. I guarantee you that. Actually, things that you won't believe. Things, skits that when I saw the ideas, I didn't even think they were possible. But then they were. <laughs> but so, yeah, you're going to love the new movie. That's all I can really tell you about it. Johnny Knoxville then went on to confirm the new title of the film on that same night's episode of Jimmy Kimmel Live. Anthony Anderson was the guest host because Kimmel said he, quote, doesn't like Johnny Knoxville. Just toying around with you lads. We have no idea why Jimbo was absent. Johnny Knoxville continued on describing a few of the promotional photos from Jackass Forever. In this scene, Aaron McGay, and newest Jackass member, Dark Shark, from South Central LA, are trying to blow a tarantula into the other guy's helmet, Knoxville said, and the loser. The tarantula bites the loser in a very sensitive area, so they don't want to lose. In this next scene, another new cast member, Eric Manica was sitting in a tank of water whilst attempting to set flame to a fart. We've been trying to do that for 15 years by the way, the jackass stuntman proclaimed. In this photograph, Johnny Knoxville himself is being launched approximately 5 stories into the air from an evil Knievel-esque circus cannon. You know, the ancient myth of Icarus, the boy who flew too close to the sun. Knoxville asked Anderson, well, we reenacted that with a cannon. Johnny continued, I couldn't sit down for two weeks. In his final explanation, Johnny wanted to do a magic trick for the bull. As he stated, it turned out this bull absolutely hated magic. He followed. In result of this stunt, Johnny spent the weekend in the hospital with a broken wrist, broken rib, and a concussion. The footage turned out great so it was a win, he said. This next one, because of COVID and we couldn't fly and mess with people and all that, it's all, I'll just say this, it's backyard <laughs> each other up stuff. <laughs> that's all it is. And that that's as all I can say about it. Anything, wow. did you ever get hurt badly yes. during these? <laughs> yes. Like, what, what? Yes. Wow. That, I'll just say yes. <laughs> no, but not even in the last one, maybe before. No, did you ever, no, no. no. So this in the is, this, this one hurt one. more. <laughs> This wow. one more. <laughs> I mean, you seem to be all in one piece, so I yeah, don't know. Yeah, but we've to... been filming like this whole time. This was the longest. So we started before <laughs> COVID. We took the COVID break, and Paramount used us as the guinea pig to see how studios could get back oh, into filming. Oh, okay. And we had to do all the tests gotcha. and do it all. And they're like, well, check us, guys, did it. Let's, you know. It was then used as a as a wow. tool to get the other ones right. going. Yeah. Let's let right. these guys give us. Yeah, a, let's see. What, yeah. Let's see what happens yeah. if, if they catch <laughs> COVID. Gonna work. Yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> but you know, we we did we all the it. COVID tests. We did everything, and we yeah. pulled it. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing, dude! So, right. October twenty second. Yes, I'm excited. Oh, yeah. We're excited. Yeah. Within days of Johnny Knoxville's Jimmy Kimmel interview, Jackass Four newbie cast member Sean Poopy's McInerney unfortunately got bit in the arm by a shark while appearing on Discovery Channel's popular Shark Week series. I thought I was gonna die. 
There's like 10 sharks around me. And, um. Poopy has got bit. Chris Pontius proclaimed to the camera. We're putting a tourniquet on him right now. I need a 911 ambulance call. A crew member yelled as the jackass member painted the boat's deck crimson red. The last thing he said before being hauled off to a hospital was, I need a bonus, Steve-O mentioned, followed by a light chuckle. The doctors were able to repair all the damage done from the bite, and Poopies is expected to make a full recovery. The entire cast from the previous movies returned for the fourth movie, with the exception of Ryan Dunn, who passed away in June 2011, and Bam Margera who was fired from the production in February 2021. The newest stars of Jackass Forever include, Sean Poopies McInerney, Jasper Dolphin, from Loiter Squad, Zach Zachass Holmes, Eric Manica, from Action Point, Compton Dark Shark Wilson, who is Jasper's dad, and Rachel Wolfson. The film will also feature a wide variety of celebrity guest appearances, including former pro basketball player Shaquille O'Neal, pro skateboarders Tony Hawk and Aaron Jaws Homaki, comedian Eric Andre. TV personality Tori Belisi, UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou, pro BMX rider, Matt Hoffman, and even the veteran jackass icon, Chris Robb. You popped in yes. real quick and, uh, you know, you had mentioned in there that you guys are uh, busy, busy. I don't know how much you could talk about it, but you guys Ooh. are busy Ooh. doing jackass four. Yeah, I can't talk too much about it, but yes, we've been, you know, still cranking away at the wheel, you know, mm -hmm. and... Uh, we started shooting back in March before the pandemic hit. Right. And it, it started out amazing. And then all of a sudden, the, if you remember, it started raining a ton. So mm -hmm. it kind of put a damper on everything. And then, you know, the pandemic shut it down. Right. You know, and we were done for seven months. It's like the first day going back felt like I was walking on a sci-fi movie set. I was like, <laughs> what the what is this? is going on you know like do you have to get tested ahead. every time you go in to shoot yes yeah, we've day. actually just heard it, that it is going amazing like yeah it, it's like we've heard from different sources that it's almost better than any previous jackasses which is hard to do I, yeah you know i kind of felt the same way you know? <laughs> did you? Oh, you did. <laughs> okay we've had spike out on set a couple times he's come a couple times he's doesn't really want to be around a lot of people right now. And sure. I respect that. And sure. You like, you don't want to like be around people because of COVID and then you don't want to be around anyone because you might just get f with on the show. Oh, yeah. yeah. You gotta look out for two. Later, <laughs> for sure. yeah. Like out of nowhere, you just get freaking hit by a huge hand or. Rick, I can, if you want, I can be the, the your, your eyes, your eyes and ears, you know, <laughs> eyes in the back of That's your head. Okay. If I have, if I have to take one for the team, I'll do it. Okay. You know, it's okay. like, whatever. I got gotcha. you. It's all I good. Gotcha. Comes with the territory now, you know. Dude, like, you get smoked on the show, and then you come home, and you're like, "What happened to you?" We're like, dude, I can't tell you, but I just got like <laughs> up today. I can't tell you at all. <laughs> How did the discussion oh, get eleven years start again for doing the next Jackass? It was like, okay, do you think we can do one? We're older now, yeah. And it was like, well, let's do one. Maybe it'll just be fun this time. Yeah, yeah. We're like, okay, let's make it fun. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> No, COVID <laughs> made it made it us beat each other up again. Oh wow! So, <laughs> wow, yeah. Because you guys are all buddies, so I'm sure oh, the conversations yeah, get started. Yeah, everybody you know. talks. Yeah. Everybody goes, "I got this idea. I got this idea." And then, right, you know, it just started feeling good, and it felt right. That, so. That's what it is all about, too. Yeah, right. well, that makes me really interested in uh, hearing about about Deco. Brandon D. Camillo. Yeah, and I think I think that he it's was a, a principal cast member throughout the the. Uh, I, mean, I guess we didn't have opening credits and principal cast members, but like yeah. he was a major One of the main player. Yeah. You know, he was a major player throughout the TV series, and he just decided not to be in the first movie. Which, uh, as I understood it, his uh, rationale was, I don't want to make a bunch of money for greedy corporate assholes. And that just, like, I didn't understand that at all because I was like, wow, you know, Brandon, why don't, like, like you're talking about you're going to make no money for anybody. I was like, I'm going to make as much money for these greedy assholes as I possibly can <laughs> yeah, yeah. so that, uh, so that, you know, like it's paying your dues. That's what I wanted to do. Deco has renounced his affiliation with the CKY crew. 
Um, he hasn't talked to me or Bam since like 2009. Um, he still talks to Rab and Rake uh, every now and then. Um, he stopped talking to Jesse. He, as far as I can tell, he just he wants to lead a normal family life. He has a cool job. Um, you know, he, he, he has a kid and um, he's, he's doing his thing, man. You know, I really wish, uh, you know, I really wish we were still friends. There's a lot of friends from Viva La Band that I haven't even talked okay. to in a long time. Right. And like Ray Kian is like a full blown chemist, like pharmaceutical yeah. company. Right. I remember he'd always medicine. wear those. Uh, yeah, he's like a, he's those like those a f- scientist wow. for real. Like, and he has two kids now. Okay. That's another thing. Yeah. My brother has four kids. Okay. Everybody has kids. I don't even know if they would have the time to film. Right. Dico. He has kids. Dico has kids. Yeah. No way.